the presentation's about getting switched on. I'm just saying there's a lot of people switched off. If you're going out for a listing presentation and you walk into that home, you should brighten that place when you walk in. Is that true? Some people brighten it when they leave. <laughs> It's okay to do stuff poorly, because here's the next villain. Frustration is good. Frustration is good. How do you learn how to do something new? Where do the breakthroughs come from? You get so frustrating, oh, that's ridiculous. There's got to be a better way to do this. But I'm going to borrow a line from my mentor, Jim Rohn. If you'd write, cross out the word frustration. Cross out the word frustration. Write in the word for me, fascination. Uh, ladies, who, who's ladies married? Raise your hand. Do your spouses do anything that just like bugs you? I mean, oh my God, it's just like ridiculous, okay? So the next time, instead of getting frustrated with them, look at them and go, that's fascinating the way you do that. <laughs> it's just a lot better to be fascinated in life than perpetually frustrated, right? Sometimes you walk out of the house, you don't get the listing for whatever reason, sometimes you just got to go, next! That was fascinating, okay. How many people, it happens, but in the first six months, some people light it up in real estate. Is that true? They do really well. I call those people ignorance on fire. I mean, they don't even know what they don't know. They just go out and make it happen. Is that true? Ignorance on fire. Is that a good thing to have once in a while? You don't know what's not possible. What's the opposite of ignorance on fire? People who are knowledge on ice. Here's the key. Most people, when you learn something new, how well do you do it in the beginning? Poorly. you got to do it poorly. Anything you do great right now, you don't pick it up overnight. You do it poorly, 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 and here's the key. Here's the gift I want to give some of you. Most of you can look back on your real estate career, and you had some self-doubt at one point. But then there's one sale, one day, one moment when you walk out of the house and go, I got this. I own this. I can do that now. Is that true? But here's the key. Some people quit before that moment. If you're new in this business right now, everybody, it's okay to do stuff poorly. Don't make the same mistakes over and over and over. It's okay to do something poorly. Any U2 fans out there? The rest of you ever hear of U2? Irish band, Bono, The Edge, okay? And they were talking about greatness. And they were talking about a song called Vertigo, which wins the Grammy, off an album that won the Grammy. And they were talking about being in the studio for months. And the language, he said this, we had massaged hammered, tweaked, and lubed that song. Massaged, hammered, tweaked, and lubed. Everybody listened to playback and agreed, that is very good. That's very good, which for you too meant not good enough. And this is what Bono said. Good is the enemy of great. You think great is right next door? It's not. It's in another country. When somebody comes in and the host has got 242, they're ready. That welcome, there's a good way to do it. Is that right? And there's a great way to do it. Engagement factor, intonation, proximity, eye contact, the feeling transferred. Is that true? There's a chasm between that way. If you're having a great goodbye, using their name, I understand you had a great memory expert, using those tricks to remember people's name, shaking their hand and say, we so much appreciate your business. We look forward to seeing you next time. There's a good way and a great way. Is that true? The challenge is because of the numbers of your business, you have to do stuff how often? Over and over and over, you got to keep up at that bar, right? The gap. And it's a myth that the length of time you do something equates to how good you are at it. What do you think? You ever talk to people? How long have you been a manager? I've been a manager for 12 years. They think just because they've been doing it 12 years, they're great. Is it possible they're mistaken? Some people learned a lot that first year, and they repeated that first year of experience 12 years in a row. Good gut check question for you. How much better are you at what you do than you were last year? Where have you raised the bar? Where have you turned those little layers into new disciplines? What have you done better? So the crux of my message to get switched on is in this box right here. It says this. It's show time when you guys get face to face or on the phone with a customer. Is that right? Show time. You got to be able to bring it. You can't wing it. There's not a great athlete. There's not a great actor. There's not a great singer. There's not a great salesperson that doesn't do something before they get on quote stage to prepare. Is that true? I'm just saying there's times in your life, it's showtime, is that right? You do a lot of things, quote, virtually, is that true? 
How many of you do conference calls? Now, be honest, most of them are hideous. <laughs> Aren't they? I mean, there's no real energy. There's no, it's like, oh, boy. How many of you, when you do a presentation, can you tell if that person's into it? Okay, here's the key. You ask, uh, everybody stand up for me real quick. Stand up for me real quick. Grab your little card, and I'll show you something. Grab your little card. Grab, put your stuff down. Grab your little card. Here's what I've learned. You see where it says, where am I now, zero to 10? So here's what I want to do. Um, take a second, ask yourself, where am I now? 10 is unstoppable, zero is comatose. Just ask yourself, where are you right now? I'm going to teach you a trigger or a routine to get switched on immediately. Some of you already do this. But motion creates emotion. Everybody say this. Motion, motion creates emotion. Okay, let's say it less like a robot, a little more energy. Come on. Motion <laughs> creates emotion. Think about it. When you're on a roll and doing well, do you walk differently? Breathe differently, move differently. Some people are so sedentary, they're not switched on enough because they're not moving. Is that possible? So here's what I'd like you to do. Um, stand, big smile on your face, big smile on your face. And on the count of three, we're just going to go one, two, three. Yes, like that. Big fun. Here we go. Big smile. One, two, three. Yes. 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 Now, where was that zero to ten? <laughs> it was pretty good first try. A couple people got to take your hands out of your pockets for me. The last five presentations you did, or even the last one presentation, did you get here before you started? No. Do you think it made a difference? Yes. Most everybody, if you can engage people quickly, it's easy from there. Is that true? Yes. This little card right here, I did a program for a big financial services company recently. I've done a lot with them over the years. Guy came up like four years ago, and I had a different card, but the same thing, zero to ten. He goes, this has changed my whole family life. And he, I said, what do you mean? He said, every night before I walk, I come home, drive in, and he just look at that and say, where am I now? <sighs> what do I love about my family? Why am I blessed to have my family? Yes. <laughs> then he would walk in. Much better than, you ever know some seagull parents or seagull managers? Y'all know that? Some sea, seagull parents, for example, fly in, squawk, point everything out they didn't do, they shouldn't have done, crap all over them, then fly back out. <laughs> 